This week on the devlog, uh, one of our teams here at school has encountered something, uh, a unique problem that uh, I thought was interesting enough. Let's put together a little video to help them out in resolving it and also maybe share it with you because it's kind of cool and it's good practice with just matrix transforms in Unity. Here is the crux of the problem. We have a little, a little game here I've made, and there are two sections of the game. Uh, there's two rooms, if you will. Um, I made one room here, and I put, uh, put, put some rocks in the room. Put, you know, there's rocks in this room. And there's, uh, there's another section here that has some trees. So I'll call this the, I call this the tree room. This is the tree room, and that's the rock room. And ostensibly in gameplay, the idea is that these two rooms, if I'll take a look here, each room has a little doorway. And the two rooms are supposed to be connected through this doorway. You're supposed to walk out of the, out of the, uh, out of the rock room. Like the idea is you'd walk out of the rock room and walk uh, right into the tree room over here, but for one reason or another, the two rooms are not connected to each other. And I, I was pointing out that seems like the easy solution, the easy solution really is just grab the tree room and put it where it belongs, like connect them, Con connect those up. But as I was saying, for some reason, we cannot. We, we cannot move the tree room. It can't be done. Don't know why. <laughs> so instead, we're gonna we're gonna fake it. Uh, I've got myself a little player here. Let's hit play. There's a player in the rock room. Here's my little player guy in the rock room, and I'm looking out the window. And what I want to see through this window is I want to be looking in there like a look through that window and see into the tree room through that window how am i going to pull that off so let's let's do it um here we go uh what have i got okay uh the first thing is i'm going to need to render twice i'm going to need two cameras my main camera i will keep here in the rock room that's the one connected to the player there. And I will make a slave camera that is going to look into, look in through this, into the tree room. And I'm going to treat it like a portal system. I'm not going to do a full portal solution, but I will start with similar to a portal. The idea really here is this little window is going to create a portal into this connected window. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do. So if, if my camera is looking towards that window, I'll need a view looking through this window. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start with, I'm going to create a second camera. Okay. And I'm going to call this the, oh, I'll call it the, the portal. Okay. Call it the tree camera or portal camera. Let's call it the tree camera. Tree camera. Okay, this is the tree camera. Um, and yeah, just put it more or less, more or less where we're kind of wanting it, you know, it's gonna, something like that, where we're looking into the window into the tree room. So now I'm looking kind of at the window there. Um, let's move, let's, let's move a little closer. Move a little closer to the window. Okay. So when I boot up, this camera is looking out that window. And simultaneously, the tree camera should be matched up so that as the main camera moves around in this scene, the, the tree camera matches the movement to get the exact same view, only looking into the other room. So what have I done? Um, I want to point out that the position of the two rooms has been offset, but also they've been rotated. So they don't face in the correct direction relative to each other. And I'm going to have to deal with both of those things 
as the camera moves around. So I have two, two cameras now. Um, let's just put them together. We do need to sort things out. The main camera is inside the rock room. So I'm going to need to draw the rock room last. What I'm going to do is draw the tree room. I want that in the background because that's farther away. As you can kind of imagine in my view here, the trees are farther away than the rocks. So I need to draw the trees first. So I'm going to put the depth of the tree camera at minus one that force it to draw first over depth of zero of the main camera will draw second. So for starters, let's just see what we get. Uh, it didn't it didn't work. Uh, and that is because the main camera is clearing the screen when it draws. We need to not clear. So we want the tree camera to draw, clear the screen and draw, and then we'll draw the rock room inside the main camera with this. Boom. And so now we can see that the, the tree camera is drawing and showing its trees, um, but and the main camera is drawing and showing its business. The problem is the tree camera isn't drawing, isn't reacting as I move around. And so the trees just seem to hold still, right? Okay, let's create a script to make the tree camera do be in the exact right place to follow along with whatever the main camera is doing. So let's call this the uh, I don't know, portal camera script. Okay, I'm gonna need some some stuff. Uh, first of all, I need I'm gonna follow the main camera. So let's let's give me a public camera main camera and I'll use late update because it is a camera. Uh, okay, what else am I gonna need to do? I need to line up the two rooms and the two rooms are connected via this window. So let's take a look at what I've set up. I have a window in the rock room facing outward from the rock room. I have a matching window in the tree room facing into the tree room. So the, the theory here is that if this window is the exact same as that window, then they would bolt together perfectly, end to end, looking the same direction. A viewer looking out of the rock window is looking into the tree window, right? So I got those boom, boom, lined up just straight like that. Okay, and that's gonna make my math very easy, but I will need to refer to those two objects. Um, I called it window, but I just need an object that lines up that I can weld together. And when I weld those two objects together, uh, I'm gonna get the right view. So let's make public transform and I'll call it tree window, tree room on a tree room and public transform rock room. Okay. So what am I going to do? First thing is I'm going to get the position and direction of the camera. So vector three pos equals main camera transform position. That's position and the direction it's looking. The forward direction of the main camera. This is the one that's off in the tree room. Okay, now uh, what I want to do is I want to bolt them together. So I'm going to I'm going to convert world space. These are world space position and world space direction. Convert those into the space relative to the room it's in, the rock room. Relative to the rock room, what is that relative to the rock room? So uh, pos equals um, rock room. Inverse transform, and the pos is a point. So I'm going to inverse transform point. This is going to convert, as it says here, from world space to local space. So converting it from whatever position that is in the world to where that is relative to the rock room's window. And we'll do the forward also. Inverse transform, that's a direction 
forward. Okay, and now I've got them in the, in the space of the rock room. I want it to be an identical space in the tree room, but now I need to take it out of tree space into world space. So POS equals tree room dot transform point POS. So transform point takes us from local space back to world space. And we'll do the same thing for forward tree room transform direction forward. Okay, now that I've got the position and the forward for the camera, I just need to put the camera, this camera, there. So that's transform.position equals POS and transform dot, I'm gonna use look at to make it look forward. And I wanna look at POS plus forward. That's the position I'm looking at. So POS plus something in front of me. Okay. Let's put this script on our tree camera and hook it up. The main camera is the rock camera is the main camera there. And we need the tree room and the rock room references. And I'm using the windows to line them up. This is the tree window. And here is the rock window. Save. Let's do it. OK. And now, when I move around and rotate, I'm looking through the window, and it is just lined up beautifully. Uh, I'm getting Z fighting on the window itself because I do have that duplication. So what I might want to do here is take the, let's take the tree room. Let's say the tree room's window frame. I'll hide that and also the tree room's front wall and hide that. So I still, I'm gonna need this window reference point, um, but I'll use this wall to, as my draw wall. And now I shouldn't get any Z fighting. Uh, there you go. I got a little Z fighting because the, it looks like I built the, the side wall intersecting a little bit. But, so there you go, we've got our portal working. Um, I will point out the shadows don't line up. Shadows in the tree room point that way and the shadows in this room point that way. And that's because I'm using the same directional light for both and we've got the room rotated. So that's gonna be kind of mixed up. That'll be a, a separate issue to solve. Um, what else I might wanna do for efficiency reasons, I might wanna put the tree room and the rock room onto separate layers and have each camera only draw that layer. Um, I guess that'd be fun. Let's, let's, uh, let's add that. Let's do a tree room layer and a rock room layer. And let's take the tree room and put it on the tree room layer. And let's take the rock room and put it on the rock room layer. And let's tell the main camera, uh, let's see here, where is that? Ah, culling mask, not to include the tree room. Main camera is not gonna include the tree room. Uh, the tree camera, is only gonna include the tree room. Boom. Okay. And that should boost our efficiency nicely and uh, avoids the double draw we were gonna get on the UI. Okay, so there you go. There seems to be a one frame lag. Um, probably the script execution order is going to need to be fixed. Um, project settings, script execution order. I need to make the portal cam go after, I mean, go last. So I'm gonna apply that. And that should fix, I think. 
the one frame lag that I had because the portal cam was running before the um, the main cam. Look at that, there you go. It appears as though they are attached even though they are not. Hopefully that helps for the one team that is trying to do that and for anybody else who's interested in like exploring how portals work, um, that's like step one of setting up uh, a portal view there in Unity. So. Hope that was fun, and I'll see you out there in the devlog.